welcome to Let's Play World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. This is one of my like one of my all-time favorite games when I was a kid. Absolutely played it to death. I was um, playing it again the other day, um, just sort of in preparation for this playthrough, and I was actually really surprised at how much I remembered. Um, Probably has something to do with, um, I mean, the game's, it's not, like, really, really short. It's sort of moderately sized, but there are no, um, there are no passwords or save feature. So, I, you have to play through it all in one setting, unless you're emulating it like I am. Um, yeah, I just spent, like, a uh, good two hours piss fighting around with the uh, with the codex because for some reason the codec I was using before has just decided to die on me and um, yeah so it was a really good playthrough too anyway it also really impresses me even still how good the graphics on this thing is like um I think this really pushed the Master System to its limit in far of graphical capabilities. So the basic story of the game is um, Mickey was uh, reading a book of fairy tales one night and fell asleep. When he woke up, he was in this village right here. And apparently some evil warlock or something has stolen the, uh, some kind of magical artifact, and, um, and now everything's gone evil. Like this bird. Goddamn birds. <clears throat> Another thing that occurred to me is that, um, a lot of games based on, um, like, uh, popular franchises, like, like cartoons and movies and stuff, they're often really crappy. Like they're just crappy cash-ins. But all of these old Disney games are actually pretty good. Like I'm surprised at how high quality their games were. All right, let's see if I can get this. There's a secret passage up here. <sighs> Bugger. Oh well. Hey, you get to see the rest of the level. Yeah, if you can use your bum jump to get up there. Um, you basically skip this part. I'm not sure exactly what this thing is supposed to be. It looks like some kind of basket. But it's a uh, non-destructible M, which comes in handy. Anyone who remembers back in the day, there were a lot of games that had, um, like, you jump on things and you kill them. But I definitely like how Mickey actually maneuvers his ass into the appropriate squashing position. It amuses me. Yeah, so I had to go and find another video codec that sort of balanced video, bal hey, got a balance between video clarity and uh, smooth playback. I think I found that one that was alright. But, um... I'm really missing my other codec. I liked it. It worked awesome. So, 
So I was um, watching Quickening 666's video, his latest um, play and ramble, and um, he was talking about, uh, well he talked about a lot of things, but he was talking about um, uh, the differences between PCs and consoles as, um, as gaming platforms. <coughs> One thing I always really appreciate about consoles is that when you buy one, you don't need to upgrade it for like five or six years, if you're lucky. Like that's sort of standard um, time when they change out the consoles. And um, I think that just removes a lot of strain and just makes it a lot more convenient. Because with a, with a PC, if you want to play, <coughs> like, if, if a game is coming out that's brand new that you really want to play, um, often you have to go and get your PC upgraded, um, otherwise you might not be able to play it. Um, but with consoles, once you get the console, that's it. You've got it for the life of the console. Which is a definite plus. Which is a definite plus for me. It sort of goes to what he was saying about um, consoles being more laid back. Yay! Sorry, I missed that last time. <clears throat> so the controls in this game are pretty basic and easy to understand. You've got um, button one, which is pick up and throw. Uh, like you see when you walk up to those um, blocks, how you go to grab them, that happens automatically. And you press button one and um, they pick them up. Pretty sure that's just another bit of help that I don't need. Yep. And, uh, and then button two is to jump. So. Pretty simple to understand. I mean, it is meant for kids, but it's still a really enjoyable game. <coughs> I should tell this, tell you guys the story about how I, I came to actually get this game. Um, back in the day, my mom actually got us a Game Gear, and she got this um, four-in-one uh, game thing that came with it. But she also got um, Land of Illusion, <coughs> which um, sort of became one of my all-time favorite Master System games. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Damn it! Um, anyway, she got the, uh, the Game Gear for us, and it was awesome, because it um, had this on it, obviously. And, um, but then, like, a few weeks later, Dad made her take it back. And, um, it wasn't until later that we found out that, um, Mum was constantly playing columns in bed and keeping Dad awake. So, like, so, <laughs> um, Dad made her take the Game Gear back because, um, because she kept playing it in bed and was keeping him awake. And, um, but anyway, after the, uh, that whole debacle, Mum got us this game, uh, again, just on the regular Master System, and, um, we absolutely played it to death. So this is the horse guy. I vaguely remember seeing him in some really old Disney cartoons. But um let's go. Ooh, that's me. That's time. Okay, um thanks for watching everybody. Uh, please rate and comment on my videos. I will see you next time.